Hello and welcome to Darlington. We've got some sea open action for you here today. Uh, about 30 seconds here before qualifying starts. We've got ourselves a number two truck here today. Um, about 30 something people signed up, which means I assume it split one time. A um, little disappointing. Um, I'm wasting it. Not a terrible time. I was hoping more people would be signed up, but that's okay. Uh, one person we do have signed up is Hermie Sadler. That's cool. You are here with us. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, man. All right, cool. We've already got some cool people in here. <laughs> so, we've got Brian saying hello, and like I said, we got Hermie Sadler too, which is really cool. You'll see him every once in a while here on iRacing. Former NASCAR driver and brother of Elliot Sadler, if you didn't know. There's a really good uh, video kind of on his career by, uh, shoot, what was his name? <laughs> oh my gosh, I was gonna sh I was gonna shout out a really cool video about his career. It's the Rise of the Field Filler series. Um, I'm blanking on his name right now because I've forgotten everything but racing and breathing at the moment for qualifying. But uh, if I remember, I will put it in the description. It's really good documentary style stuff. And it's a whole series, Rise of the Field Fillers, about uh, kind of like the 2000s era field filler kind of stuff. And uh, the stories behind the guys. And it's always super interesting, so I recommend that series. I just can't remember the dude's name right now. <laughs> Oops. So, first lap was pretty good. I'm happy with that. Getting tight here in turn four and lap two, unfortunately. So, lap one's gonna be the good one, it looks like. Down a tenth on the second lap. We'll practice a green flag pit stop here real quick. You two at the moment. I take like this weird dive in pit entry. I know some guys like to come in Look out for the pit from pit turn pit. three and four, but I think that works okay for me. Seems like it's pretty quick. So uh, definitely want to be ready to do that because Starlington, despite being a little treacherous, like I said in the B uh, open race I did, can go pretty green, and that race only had one caution too, so. Alright, P2 for now. <laughs> Got a uh, nice handful of people to go, including... No, the one has chosen not to qualify, okay. Gonna obviously be a little softer during the actual race itself in terms of, like, using the tires. And, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it real quick. While we have a second, I'm going to look up the name of that YouTube channel because I don't want to, like, talk about it and not even remember the dude's name. So, let's see. It's called, the series is called Rise of the Field Fillers. It's a good documentary. Brock Beard, that's his name. Very interesting YouTube series. If you're interested at all in, like, the smaller team kind of history from that like like I said like the 2000s era of NASCAR when the field fillers kind of became a bigger thing learn about guys like uh, Hermie Sadler here and uh, they have a video on Kurt Shelmerdine and Carl Long and 
very, very, very good stuff. Very well researched, very well presented. So I don't know, just while I'm thinking about it, I'll shout that out. But we've got one person out here. <laughs> I think this guy was just in my Arca race. So I wonder if he signed up for this one and forgot <laughs> or something. Um, after that one, because I know some people like sign up for a race while still in another race. I don't actually know how people do that, but that's too much pressure for me to get finished with a race in time. I would forget way too often. But I guess we're just going to have to wait the whole time because we got guys just kind of hanging out. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, that's why the one car doesn't have a time in. They hit the wall. So maybe their laps didn't count. That's interesting. We are going to be on the outside front row, of course, because that's where I always seem to end up. All right. A little nervous, but we're ready to go. Arlington. One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. One to green closed. here. Pit road is closed. And session last lap. All right. I'm hoping more than anything we can bring it single file before turn one. So I would prefer not to be side by side pretty much ever in this race, <laughs> to be honest with you, if I can avoid it, but um, probably not going to be able to avoid it the whole time. Hey, John, how you doing? Hey, John. John. Got 85 laps here today. Yeah, doing good, bud. Just, uh, just trying to sneak a race in without all the rope to pro guys. I guess helmet looks like cheese. Yeah, I figured I'd have one some trucks. Should be sponsored by a Sargento. Call tonight for work tomorrow. Like that Alpha Prime entry in the Xfinity series. Good luck, have fun, everybody. Maybe he already is. Maybe that's why his helmet looks like that. Look. Hermy Sadler starting in sixth. So cool that you can race against current and former NASCAR drivers out here. I always try to make sure I race everybody the same, regardless of who they are. I don't want to wreck anybody, so it doesn't really change how I race anybody. I race everybody as cleanly as I possibly can. But I'd be lying if you didn't feel a little bit of extra pressure, like side by side They're with Dylan R. Jr. or something. I had the opportunity to race against him. I think twice? Maybe just once? I know for sure I did a uh, truck race at Iowa with him once. Did I do another race with him? I don't know. But been able to race against Kyle Larson. I got a video of that. It was an ARCA race at Michigan against him. I've got that on the channel. I've raced against William Byron in the past at Atlanta in the Xfinity car. That was really cool. And I think really early on, when I got back into iRacing, like 2020, I did some short track race William Byron was in. Hey, uh, I was garbage in that race. That was like a lap car that whole time. Yeah, well. Excuse me. I'll let you know if it gets any worse. It's not too bad. They don't get a terrible jump. It's not first gear start, is it? Go green, stay focused. All right, I'll take that jump. I'm okay with that. I was able to kind of look at him in my rear view. Get a good look at him. So, we will just hang out for a bit. Not gonna go for a pass unless I get a massive run or something. I'm 
no idea if I need to be saving the right front or the right rear, so maybe I will just try to save both. Wouldn't that just be great if I could just save the tires completely and never have to worry about anything? Let's just end the race at 100%, both sides, both front and back. Why not, huh? Why doesn't everyone just do that? <laughs> we'll just hang out. Looks like we're getting some distance behind us. So, that's cool. Seems like he uh, exits off a of four on the high side. I kind of prefer to do that cut down. I don't know if which one's better um, on tires. I really don't. I'm more concerned about that. Like I, I could probably do either line. I don't know, it feels like the car, the truck just wants to go down there, so I'm just kind of letting it. And I'll typically, uh, using less wheels better, so why prevent the car from going down to the bottom if it wants to do that, you know? I like the way it feels. So we got the top three here kind of breaking away. Maybe ripping tires off too much, but I'm okay with that for now. I think I'm going to have to add Darlington to uh, my favorite tracks list on my iRacing profile <laughs> after this race. It should already be there, to be honest. Love this place. I don't know why I haven't already put it there. Definitely one of my favorite tracks to drive. My water temperature? What's it doing that for? I don't believe him. He's just paranoid as always. Truck still feels good after... Seven and a half laps, I guess it would be. actually have an updated setup this time. If you watch my uh, Xfinity race, you'll know I had an outdated setup, which may or may not have affected my performance. Could have just been that I had nothing for the fastest guys, but certainly wasn't feeling too good on long runs, whether that was my fault or the setups or both. So hopefully uh, this nice and updated setup will do good things for us. Bit of a run here, but I don't want to go along yet. Gotta wait for your right moment here at Darlington, that's for sure. Trying to underdrive it. Probably failing, but I'm trying. We're getting a huge run out of four every lap, it feels like. Let's try to be smart. See where his tires go. He might just be running to a pace right now. I gotta take this one off. Outside. Go low. Fix out. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, three. It's a nice give and take there. Always good. Come across someone that knows how Darlington works. Just uh, always got to avoid side-by-side -side if you can. It's not going to help anybody. He probably knows I'm likely to burn off my tires and he'll be able to pass me up again later. And when he does, I will be lifting off just like he did. So that's how you end up 
not dead on the side of the road after Darlington. <laughs> Still liking this cut down line, I'm gonna keep doing it. Oh, so much fun to drive though. I can finish last and end up <laughs> finishing a race at Darlington with a smile on my face. As long as I uh, was able to do the laps unimpeded, had a good time. Maybe getting a little tighter, but I'm not too concerned at the moment. Okay, it's going to do that, believe it or not, at Darlington. Thank you. Got half a second back behind us, and then a second back to third. Complete 14 of our 85 laps. Bit low out of two there, it's fine. Don't have anyone to follow right now, so I've got to really try to pay attention to how hard I'm running and if I'm driving my line correctly. You don't get that guideline anymore once you're out in the open air. Got Hermie back in third now. Second and a half back. I did finish my Xfinity race with no Darlington stripe. Let's see if I can do it again here today. Plenty of time to fail that mission, though. In fact, felt a little bit of a push on entry there. Worried for a second I was immediately going to blow that. <laughs> as soon as I said something about it. Green all the way though, another reason this track is great because even if some guys kind of get self-spammy back in the back, you usually end up on the apron so you don't have to worry about pacing. It's kind of nice. You might be returning the favor for that four car behind us though. Four track, I'm going to do that constantly, I'm sorry. Uh, four too long though, I'm uh, lifting off for him. Looks like he might be reeling us back in again. Could have been a job of saving, probably. That felt like it was too much on the right front. Didn't like the way that felt. Into a nice rhythm though. Finishing up lap 20 here in just a moment. Looks like Hermie Sadler might be reeling us leaders in. He's at 1.1 now. Keep an eye on that. He's probably doing a better job of saying tires, if I had to guess. And that would be the obvious conclusion to reach if he's reeling us in after we've gotten some laps in. Probably just going to pit halfway if everything goes according to plan. <laughs> Try 
Trek's feeling tight now. Hermes is going to come up here and pass us both. Been holding that point four back to the number four. Homie's gaining. Should slow him down having to get past P2 there. But we'll see how much. Probably not even how much, honestly, actually, because give and take. That was bad on the right front. That was a horrible corner. I might have I might come in a little bit sooner than halfway. Just to adjust my tire saving a little bit for the second run. Try to do a little bit better next time. Side by side behind us maybe? Four holds them off for now. <laughs> yeah, they're all catching me. Me and burning off my right front. Name a more iconic duo. Peanut butter and jelly, that's probably about it. Hit run out of four that time. They are definitely side by side now. There. Actually, I don't know that for definite certain, <laughs> but it looked like they were. Yeah, wow, look, they must have uh, gone in side by side or something into turn one because they lost a couple tenths. Hermie got past him though, so we are <laughs> next on his target list. And then we got the one truck zooming up here. I just now saw that. I have the feeling he's going to rock it on up here. You know, get to be the one truck by accident. Oh, Hermes are coming. He's got so much more speed than me right now. Not close. Going. He's got a big run. He'll probably get it here if I had to guess. Not quite. I had to take that a little weird just because I wasn't sure if he was going to dive it in there. He did not, though. You have me here. Quiet. Massive run, he's got me now. Still there. Stay high to the car on the low side. Stay high to the car on the low side. 
clear. Off the one for now. I don't even know if I necessarily needed to do that, but I'm just trying not to. Blow it here. There he goes. So, given our tire position we are in currently, might pit a little earlier, as I theorize, just to uh, maybe try to save tires a bit better on the second run. I don't even know if I'm going to know how to do that, but <laughs> we might try. So maybe like lap 41. Think about it a little bit more. And of course things will change depending on if I see anybody else do some pit stopping. Cautions or what have you. So far so good though, I'm happy with where I am, even if I lost the lead. Still P3. I'm not picky. P3 is pretty good. Need to be doing that out of turn two more often. That was a better corner there. Sure, let's do lap uh, 41, I think. It's probably good. Thank you, Lord. No problem, I didn't see you at first. Probably right when I was going into one. It's nice. looking like the three's probably, or the four is going to catch us. I'll get out. Got a good battle for the lead, maybe going on up there. It might just be hanging out for a while. Though. I mean, the track's not unmanageable, I will say that. We're obviously slower, and have not done as good a job saving tires. But it's not impossible to drive or anything, by any means. So I'm sure there's probably people in the field that are in much worse positions, but we've just been easily outdone by the 5 and the 1 ahead of us. And we got the 17 coming up, it looks like. 17. Must have done a better job saving tires. The lap time was at 21.6. Still, Still planning on flat 41. I like that idea. A little bit of an undercut. Could help us out. Hopefully, I don't mess up pit entry. Oh, we got side by side behind us. Jenkins, ahead is increasing. It's now 2.4 seconds. That was on the wall there. Careful now. So, pitting in next lap, I don't want to reveal my hand right away though. And I won't if I don't need to tell the whole field, but if I got someone behind me, directly behind me, I need to tell them if I'm pitting in. Obviously. If I don't have to, I'm gonna enter those pits silently and if people see that pe they see. But otherwise, maybe I can sneak on in. But we're going in now.
approach. Yeah, why not just drift it into the pits? Holy cow, what was that? Calculated. Totally meant to do that. Uh, is it fast to drift into the pits or is it slow? <laughs> that might be the longest drift I've ever done on iRacing that I actually caught. I wonder if that even came across how sideways I was there. Three, two, one. Right here. Pity. 6478. Is what it is. Definitely thinking this could go green all the way though, so. Okay, go. Not too concerned about Take care, there's a car approaching. Finding ourselves a yellow, but it could happen. And that would be not good, but well. So we're going to go a little hard at first, just to see if we can take advantage of an undercut to okay, we're halfway to the finish. its fullest extent. Getting past lap traffic efficiently is going to be huge. Compromise entry there, but not too bad. Going hard for now until we kind of cycle out, and then I'll worry about saving tires more. Plus, who knows? Maybe uh, going harder on the throttle is going to be good on the right rear and even it out more. Who knows? I certainly don't. I don't know a darn thing about saving tires, if that's not been evident for the past forever. Thanks, son. I didn't expect an army. Don't move, man. It's fun racing, though. Set of the three here. Can we get about this undercut so far? Some guys that have been out for a decently long bit of time. The car ahead's pitting. Oh, almost got in the wall. That was just me not turning the wheel enough. <laughs> P6, we're quickest at the moment. You've just done it. Oh, I love green flag races, though. I love this strategy. I love being able to see how it cycles out. Later, clock goes well on the Hermes has stayed out a while. I'm worried for his long-term pace here. He's coming in now, but... That's some time he has lost by staying out longer. Of course, he'll gain it back on fresher tires. Okay, in fifth. Where did we come in? We came in fourth, I think it was. Is that it? Third? Thanks, Ryan. Fourth. No it was fourth. My head seems to be on fresher tires, but he is not on the lead lap. That's third. Spy here. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Assuming he was going to be willing to do that. The leaders have not pit yet? Am I seeing that correctly? Maybe that wasn't Hermie that was pitting. I thought I saw a car that looked like his pitting. Truck. Whatever. 
But apparently they have not pit yet. That is curious. Maybe they just know that they're better at saving tires, so they don't need to. That is very interesting. You've just done thirty point two. About to unlap ourselves. That is a pit stop happening right there for the leader. The leader is pitting now. That's what we're about to hear. The leader's pitting now. Yes, indeed. The driver in front of us is Jenkins. The car outside. The last lap was in the leader outside. You wanted. Sorry, Herbie. Can't waste any time here. I know that was pretty aggressive. How are we going to cycle out? There he is, on pit road. The lead is pitting now. Hermes pitting. P2, that lap was at 30.4. He's still in the pits as of right now, the leader, former leader. That is a gap. That is a gap we have just gotten. Uh, we are going to have terrible tires by the end of this thing, however, I think we did pretty good on a pit entry and etc. You're back in second. We are gonna get some laps led here. Some more laps led, that is. Did we lead more laps? No, we didn't. Hello. Sorry, Charles. I'm trying to get lo lower. Very oh, interesting, man. No, no problem. They stayed out a long time, though. That could hurt them. I'll be honest, I kind of threw out the whole <laughs> take it easier the second run thing, though. I have just been going hard and not not going hard. I should go easier, but... I am just too excited right now. <laughs> just having too much fun driving Darlington, so whatever. We'll try to drive off the right rear if we can. But we'll just see how it cycles out. Right now, though, I'm feeling like I had a fantastic green flag pit stop. Oh, I don't know that at four. I think he just gained a couple tenths already. That lap was a That's a lot of time for them to have to gain. I know we've still got a lot of race left to go. I don't know. I'll probably be way behind by the time this thing's over, but... Oh, don't do that in front of me, please. Get let by here. Yes. You've just done a thirty point eight. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate him for that. I'm just I'm gonna go hard to the end. Kill the tires, who cares? Let's go for it. Just try to gap them as much as possible. I'm terrible at saving tires anyway. I tried to save tires to an extent that first run and it didn't really do me any good. So might as well get 100% out of the tires while they have grip. 
and those were his final leads before he finished 28th in a 17 car field. <laughs> All four tires exploded, killing him instantly. He was 27 years old. Very sad story. Four has gained about a second. The hope here is our tires will even out eventually. Like, obviously my tires are going to be much older, but it seems like after the truck falls off a cliff on lap times, once you're on old tires, you're kind of just on old tires, it seems like. And tires even out pretty well. So maybe uh, we'll be able to maintain this gap all right. You can see, like... Hermie and the number one. Never mind, there he is. Okay, he is going to rock it up here and pass me. <laughs> I was wondering when we would see him, but he is absolutely booking it. He's going to get us in about six laps, if that. <laughs> well, oh well, not too surprising. Had a little bit of hope there for a second. I should have known better, but that's all right. shifting shifting in three and four do I dare I'll take a, I'll take a look at it maybe I'll examine where my rpms are here Jenkins is closing in the gap is now 1.7 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty low RPM. I'm going to try it next lap, I think. Why not? Still don't see Hermie on the relative. Right, that could be much longer. Oh, I entered too high. Whoa, that was scary. Hold it together now. was faster. And then he started shifting. It's obviously not going to make much of a difference, but if I'm seeing green, I'm going to do it. Oh, get it going, man. Don't bring out that caution. Okay. Even if the caution would put me back in contention for this thing, I still don't want it. That was a great race so far. I don't need that. <laughs> That's gonna be hard to control, but it's a little faster. Might as well. Might as well. Holy cannoli, that truck is getting tight. He is rocking it up to me. Gonna get me this lap, I believe. There's not even gonna be any defending him. He's got so much better tires. He's just gonna hit the warp speed button and go past me. Six seconds back to third. The next car the leader. Watch how fast it gets away from me here. Huge tire difference there. I wonder if Hermie had a bad pit stop. Okay, He's still back ten seconds, so those guys were real close to each other before all that was done. Well. 
fresher tires coming on by and maybe not. It's gonna pass me in a really dumb spot. Not a big fan of that, but oh well. Could have just been a little bit more patient and got me on the backstretch, but okay. That's fine. Messed up my lap there, but that's okay. Do my best to hold on to second place. Look at all that time I lost because of that guy deciding to pass me out of turn two. What's that, three tenths by the time we get down here? Almost. Oh, maybe we can hold them off back there. I'm not able to look too much to be able to see how it's changing. I focus on my line and everything, obviously, but I think we can hold off the four. We'll see how much, how fast Hermit gets up here. Gotta make sure I'm not shifting too early because if I do, this thing could get quite unsettled, which would be quite bad. Quite ugly. <laughs> so let's uh, not shift too early there. Make sure I'm not doing that. The one's gonna win this thing by um, about two and a half light years. Good win to him. The only thing that could Thank you, John. prevent it. Yeah, no problem. For him. At this point would be yeah, lab traffic issues. I'm gonna pawn you, Ricky. Hmm. I think we might hold on to this second place. Maybe. Again, depending on how fast Homie is able to go, how fast he'll get around the guy behind us and such. Oh, we lost a little bit of time there. The lap time was 31.6. Bit tight there. Able to keep it out of the wall though. Thank you, Richard. I kind of wish I'd been doing this sooner, because it is helping me be on the right rear. Great job, game to go. That lap was a, a We're going to have to he keep hitting decent laps to keep second, maybe. I keep flip-flopping back and forth on whether I think I'm going to be able to keep this spot. Oh, Hermes passed him. That's not what I wanted to see. Oh boy, there they are, chasing us down. Let's go, let's go. Woo. Right on the edge. Oh my gosh, he's down to three sec. He's gonna pass me. Now that he's uh, not impeded by anyone, I think there's no chance. He doesn't get past us within the next couple laps here. Especially turns three and four, that that tire difference makes a huge, gives him a huge advantage. Yeah, he's gaining about a second a lap, it seems like. Not much I can do about that, but that's okay. He, uh... 
obviously was much faster the first run, so he has earned it. Well, this is going to be bad. This is not a good spot to reach this guy. Oh my god, this is the actual worst place to reach this guy. Somehow keep it out of the wall. Did not need that to happen. If I had any shot, it's gone now. And he, of course, gets by him super easy. You got five left to go. Look at all this time lost again. Turn two. That's more than last time. That's all. That's three and a half tenths right there. Alright, he'll get me this lap, I imagine. Get the run right now. Inside. <laughs> Just have to let him go. There's no way I had anything for him, so there's no reason not to let him go. I made him think about it on entry, but it's nothing. He still gets me even if the lap car didn't happen, though, too. Don't worry about me, Carl. I'm just riding. Well, you has time to spare. Oh, you're good. Take your marks, man. It's just cruising at this point. Thank you. Congrats to him. He uh, dominated this one. It's looking like a P3. As long as I do not do something very dumb. So I think we, I still think we had a great uh, hit cycle, able to overtake the four, and I think uh, using the shifting as the tires got worn, I think that really did help out a lot. Good win and good race, guys. Love a good uh, caution-free race. Thank you. Good race, guys. It's fun. On the podium. Good race, John. All right. This ticket flag. Good race, everybody. Great All right. That was awesome. Really well. Back one, John. Whew. Thank you, guys. Pull it on over. That was awesome. All right. P3. Supposed to finish second, but Harmy Sadler said no. <laughs> But, can't feel too bad about finishing behind a NASCAR, former NASCAR racer, and the guy, the one guy in the race that was ranked higher than me, so. And of course, doing it on the mom and pop setup. <laughs> uh, free setup. Not that these setups are any bad. Holy canopy, I really killed the right front that time, as expected. 55, 78, that's embarrassing. But also, kind of what I meant to do. But whatever. It sure was a lot of fun. Love this track. And uh, I don't think... Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think we're going to see too much. But then I saw... Things happened, apparently. So let's see what they were. They can't all be wall hits, right? I'm about to find out. Very happy with P3, though. Very happy. All right. 
So lap three is when we get our first wall hit, I'm assuming. Off the exit here, maybe? That wasn't even anything. That was a pretend wall hit. He got so close to the wall in the center corner, I think it thought he hit the wall. We managed to keep it out of the wall again. That's two straight Darlington races with no stripe, so was I even there? There's no scientific proof. You can't carbon date the scrape on the wall to know when I was there. It's like leaving the crime scene, no fingerprints. <laughs> so, there's turn two. Trying to take a bite out of the 14. We're just going to zoom ahead. Going to get a whole lot of these, so we are going to skip ahead to just when guys might get into each other. Got pretty close there. Ooh, I think the nine, or what number is that? The six. Got in the wall, and then the guy behind had to avoid. What are we getting here? Nothing. Did that guy loop it behind him? No. I thought I heard some tire skidding like he looped it or something. Not quite. Timmy Scheme. I saw his name on it, so I, I guess it's a custom scheme. We'll take a look at it real quick. Sad. Just a Saddler. <laughs> Short and sweet. That works. <laughs> Alright. Back to it. What am I doing? How do I do this again? I forgot to do incidents for a microsecond. Oh, that's not good. Kind of a weird entry by the 15. It's like he's blocking. So the one car's rocketing forward. Yeah, it, that's kind of gross. <laughs> blocking at Darlington. Heading into, what is that, turn three? And, uh, well, he wasn't holding his line up there. He was too far down the track. You gotta be whoop, right about up here a little bit more. And uh, he has the nose on him. He's not diving in. And he's just not giving nearly enough room for this guy to enter the corner. And uh, they shouldn't have hit anyway. But Netco decided they did. So that's why you give him room. Because even if you didn't hit, you did hit sometimes. And maybe that messed with the handling. Keeping it moving here. Oh, side by side. We got something going on. Car on the wall. Trying to enter on the high side. Another reason just to back out. Because it's very hard to uh, enter on the high side here and not hit the wall. Okay, zooming ahead. Yeah, that, that's kind of like... You know, the way I handled it when Hermie caught me at the end there uh, was about as hard as I would ever try side by side. Like, I wanted him to think I wasn't going to back out, so I, I kind of backed off late. You know, just to see if I can make him make a mistake or something, but I definitely was not going to put myself in the wall trying to somehow hold on to a position when the guy clearly had probably like 20% better tires than me. So I didn't want to just, you know, roll out the red carpet, but maybe the uh, old shag carpet. <laughs> roll out the old rug that's hidden in the closet covered in dusk. dust. You know, maybe not the greatest carpet, but, you know, I basically rolled it out for him anyway. What the heck am I talking about? Anyway. Contact here? No. Just 14 overdriving it. Probably looking at the guy behind instead of his corner entry or something. I'm not sure. Keeping it moving. Oh yeah, Brian. How'd Brian do? Hey, top five. That's a nice run. That's like maybe the second time anyone has said hey that I didn't already know from like Nick and Gavin's races. You know, kind of just being part of that community, but someone saying, like, hey, I've seen your videos, that's, like, the coolest thing ever to me. So, shout out to him for saying hello, making my day. <laughs> Ooh, he gets wall on entry there. What is this move? We got a slide job. Mega slide job. <laughs> 
Is this a lab car? Is this... No, they're on the... That's for position. It's a crazy low entry, kind of doing like a slide jump thing, and then is it going to get crossed over? Yeah, so he doesn't even get to keep the spot. It's kind of a runoff. We'll see if... Yep. <laughs> I was going to say, we'll see if they find each other again or something. Fighting real hard. Trying to keep that top 10, I guess that would be. 9th and 10th. So now they're both going to finish the top 10. Fighting for 9th, I guess. Moving right along. So many wall hits. Hermie getting his Darlington Stripe, as one does. Maybe I... Maybe I should be hitting the wall. Like, I didn't hit the wall, but maybe that just means I'm not driving hard enough. <laughs> maybe I would have beat Hermie if I actually drove harder and, you know, occasionally got the wall or something. I don't know. It seems kind of silly to say, like, why didn't I hit the wall? I need to hit the wall, but, like, Maybe I'm underdriving it. Maybe I need to be closer to the wall. I don't know. Keep an open mind is all I'm trying to do. There's your eventual winner getting the wall. Ooh, that's a tough one. That guy probably got some decent damage from that one. Oh, that's, uh... Oh, no. What happened to Justin there? I feel like I saw him not even that long ago in the race, like, with not too many laps to go in a race. Did he get a meatball out of that? Say it ain't so. It ain't so, <laughs> I guess. It's not going to bits. Maybe it hurt him real bad, though. Maybe he blew his engine. We're gonna find out. Oh, that was bad. There's no turn out of the 12 there, it looks like. It looks like he just entered way too low, like... Yeah, side by side, I mean. Yep. <laughs> is what it is. It's nearly impossible to do without messing up. This is for fifth. Ooh. Tap in the rear end after the guy got the wall. Yeah, there we go. We got a battle for fifth here. Heating up. With only 10 laps to go or so in the race at this point. This thing's gonna hit the wall. Now you know they've been there. So at this point, I'm assuming he's the laps down. What happened? What happened to this guy? I'm curious. Hopefully we'll find out real soon and not have to wait too long. Did he just stay out super duper extra long or something? and not pit until way late. Let me do it this way. 12th, 12th, 11th, 11th. Oops. Eleventh. I'm sorry, I'm so curious at this point, I just gotta know. Still 12th. Okay, maybe I didn't see him. Oh, no, there he was. I think he just stayed out super late. But look, he's in fourth, and then now he's he just waited to, like, lap 65 to pit, I think. And that hurt him so bad, he ended up two laps down. Yeah, I mean, the tire falloff is so bad here. That'll really hurt you if you stay out too long. So we'll try to get back to right about where we were. So there's where we were, I think. And I think that's the end of the race, so that's all we had anyway. All right, so that was a fun race. Love Darlington. And we got ourselves a podium finish. Almost held on to second, but Hermie got us at the end there with better long run speed. And uh, the number one got the dominating win. I'm very happy with how well my uh, green flag pit stops went. I think that was the difference in being able to overtake the four. And... Uh, it was cool, racing it against Hermie again. We'll do that a couple times. Always cool to see him on here on iRacing. And uh, cool to race with Brian as well. And congrats to John. And Great race. Everybody did great, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Never really had any troubles with lap cars, really. 
a couple of times I ran into uh, guys, it was just we caught each other in real awkward spots. So, fantastic race. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed racing it. And uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one.